Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a PDF form or Adobe form as an email attachment and in the previous video we finished with the first two steps. Firstly, we got the PDF content, whatever the PDF content we received, it was in raw string format. So we converted it to binary format. Now I will go for the next step. Just remember, just think whenever we are sending the mail, Firstly, we are always, always clicking on to compose button. It means we are creating the send request process. We are creating the process to send a mail. Same thing is applicable in SAP. Whenever we want to send a mail. So firstly, I want to create a send request. I want to create a send request. And whenever I want to create a send request, I will make use of the class CL underscore BCS. Whenever you will compare it to real rhyme example, it will be very easy to understand. We are firstly clicking on to compose button. Whenever we are clicking on to compose button, what is the meaning of this? It means we are starting with the process of email sending. The same thing is applicable. We will use this particular class. So firstly, we will create the send request. So we will simply, simply go for this particular class. Now, we all know SC24 is the transaction code for global classes. So I will simply go to transaction code SC24 and I will put the class CL underscore BCS. I will go for display. And you can see we have so many methods into this particular class. Now to create a send request process, to create a send request, you can see we have a method create underscore persistent and I will use this method to create a send request first. You can see it is a static method and description is itself create persistent send request. Now you all know very well whenever some method is a static method there is no need for the object we can directly directly call the method with the help of class only if the method is instance yes we need to call the method through object if the method is static we can directly directly call the method through the class itself so i will go for the program this is our program. Now I will create the send request first. So I will go to pattern button. I will go to a back object patterns. Now we do not have any object. So we have the class directly. So what is the class? CL underscore BCS. I will go to F4 help. It will show me the various methods and I will use the method create underscore persistent to create the send request. I will put enter. I will uncomment this try and catch block. Do not forget to uncomment the try and catch block. Now, Whenever we will call this create underscore persistent method, just see we have equal to and greater than key. It is an identification itself that it is a static method. Now, how I can check the type of result, type of result? I will simply, simply double click on the method. Now, you can see 
result is of this type your result is referring to this particular class type ref to cl underscore bcs and you all know very well whenever we have type ref to it means it is a object it is always always a object so the type of whatever i will write here suppose here i am writing lo underscore bcs lo stands for local object because a good programmer has to follow the practices so i have put lo underscore bcs lo underscore bcs has the same type as that of result if i will double click result is referring to this particular class it means result is returning as the object itself so i will simply simply copy this and declare in my program so i will write lo underscore bcs type ref to cl underscore bcs you can simply simply compare in such way also result has the same type lo underscore bcs has the same type as that of result result is referring to the class it means we are getting a object so i simply declared one object in front of this result so whenever you are calling the method create underscore persistent ultimately you are getting the object of this class itself this class itself now we will move on to next step what is the next step you need to create the SAP user or external user. Firstly, we will start with SAP user. Suppose we want to send the mail, we want to send the Adobe form or PDF form within SAP users to the SAP users also. Now, we will create the SAP user first. Just see. Whenever you are drafting a mail, whenever you are going for a mail, you are clicking on to compose button. Yes, we created the send request process. After that, you are passing the email address of the recipient. Now, we are not passing the recipient as of now. Firstly, we are creating the recipient then we will add the recipient because in the previous video we covered yes firstly we need to create the recipient because if i want to send a mail to someone that mail address should exist in the system same thing is here we will create the recipient then we will add the recipient so firstly I will create a SAP recipient, then we will go for external recipient. Whenever I want to create a SAP recipient or SAP user, I will make use of this particular class CL underscore SAP user underscore DCS. So I will go to SC24 transaction code and i will put the class now cl underscore sap user underscore pcs now you can see we have so many methods available now we will check for a method which will help us to create a sap user so if i will scroll down we have a method itself create and you can see it is also also a static method so we will simply simply call this particular method and you all know whenever we have a static method there is no need to call the method through object we will directly directly call the method through the class so i will go to pattern button 
I will go to a map object patterns. I will put the name of the class CL underscore SAP user underscore BCS. I will go to F4 help. And now I will go for the method create. I will put end. Now I will simply, simply uncomment that try and catch block. Never forget to uncomment try and catch block because if some error is there, if some exception triggered, at least you will not get the runtime error if you are uncommenting this. Now I will pass my SAP login ID itself because suppose I will send the email to myself. So what is my SAP login ID? I will put my ID itself my SAP login ID. So I passed my SAP login ID. I'm creating, I'm doing the creation process. Now it is returning. It is returning. Suppose in front of result, suppose I will write hello underscore SAP user. Now simple, simple. When I put hello, it means it is a object. It is referring to a object. Suppose, what is the type of LO underscore SAP user? It will be same as that of result. If I will double click and check, you can see result is referring to the class itself. It means we are getting a object itself in the result. So I will simply, simply declare a object. So in the result, I will get a object of this class itself. Now I will write data hello underscore SAP user type ref to type ref to it was already copied. So we created the recipient. We created the SAP recipient. Just think, now we will simply compare. We created the recipient. Now we need to pass the recipient or we can simply, simply compare. We will add the recipient. Now to add the recipient, we will make use of our most, most important class CL underscore BCS. Firstly, with the help of CL underscore BCS, we created the send request process. After that, we created the user. But once you created the user, ultimately adding the recipient with the help of this class only. So I will go for this class CL underscore BCS and we will see which method will be applicable to add the recipient, whatever the recipient we created. So if I will see, you can see first method is itself add underscore recipient and description is itself add recipient to the send request. Yes, we are adding the recipient and you can see it is a instance method. It means we will require a object. We will call the method through the object. Do you have a object of this particular class? Just see in the program, we have a object. We have a object which is referring to this particular class. So we will simply, simply call the method through this object itself. So I will go for this particular pattern button. I will go to a map object patterns. What is the name of the instance? Hello underscore BCS. We all know, yes, what is object? A object is an instance of the class. 
So what is the object name? Hello underscore BCS. Now, what is the name of the class? CL underscore BCS. I will go to F for help of the methods. And we need to call which method now? Add underscore recipient. Now, you can simply, simply see we want to add a recipient. We want to add the recipient. Just see your recipient you created through this particular class method. It means your recipient is here. So just copy and pass. You need to pass the object. Yes. So you created the recipient and you added that particular recipient. Never forget to uncomment the try and catch block. So I will simply, simply uncomment the try and catch block. So I will check the syntax and activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we firstly, we covered the step number three. What is the step number three? We need to create the send request first. Just compare it to real world. You are clicking on to compose button. To create the send request process, we simply, simply call the method create underscore persistent of this particular class CL underscore BCS. And it was a static method. So we directly call through the class while returning it returned the object of this bcscl underscore bcs class itself then after that we simply simply created the sap user because whenever we want to send a mail firstly we need to create that particular user so to create that user i use the class cl underscore sap user underscore bcs and we use the method create. Again, it was a static method. I put my SAP login ID and in the result, I got the object of this particular class itself. So our SAP user created, now we need to add as a recipient. So we use the method add underscore recipient of this particular CL underscore BCS class, but it is an instance method. So we call through the object and whatever the object created, whatever the object created through this particular SAP user class, we simply, simply added as a recipient. In the next video, we will create the external user and then we will add that also as a recipient. So that's it in this video. Thank you.